Yesterday night, the screen door was broken. Thank God to the neighbor, she helped us unlock it so we can get inside the house. Then we went to sleep and there God showed me in a dream. I saw a picture of me was in this one large room by myself about to take a bath, but I couldn't because other people were in it. And then I saw myself was riding at the back of the motorbike with someone. And then I saw a picture of me was standing in the open outside wearing a long orange skirt and there I was having my monthly thing. There I could feel it's coming out of my body not just one time but three times and then that was the end of the dream. And then when we wake up, I took the kid to school and then after I went to the shop to buy um, the new screen lock door for the outside. And there I went to that same shop because her husband was very nice. He explained to me everything that needed to be done to unlock, to put it back in. But this time her husband wasn't around, only her and the other boy. Then I asked her some information about it. And there she was mocking me. And so as he was mocking me. He, they are not willing to help at all. They are not willing to answer any question. They just want you to pay them the locksmith to do it, to pay them for the lock and for the service you know what I mean they just want your money and so I was disgusted with that they didn't push me to buy it but they want me to hire them to go and do it themselves that's why they don't give me any information not just like her husband her husband's very nice so these people they don't have a heart okay they just want money but they're not pushing you to have money to to, pay, to buy it anyway but they're still money people and so I was saying saying to her your husband explained to me nicely last year how to do it. Why can't you just give me a bit of information how to do this one? Because this is a bit different, it's a bit tricky. And she said, well, if you know how to do it last year, you should know how to do it this year also, blah, blah, blah. That whole attitude thing, you know. I want to bomb it with her attitude, actually. And then this boy, he has his attitude even worse. Worse. I tell him that I bought it from here last year and... The owner, the guys told me how to do it. And it came up with two set of key with it too. And then he was standing there like this. No, it never come up with two set of key with that price. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm the one that bought it. I'm the one that replaced it. I was so sure. I still have the two set of key here to my house. And he said he was, three times I tested him, his attitude was like bad. I was like, oh my Lord. These people, these people, that it was that hard. You have such a hard heart, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm not going to stand there and argue with him, but I tested him three times, and his attitude's like, disgusting, okay, God, okay. So anyway, I just pay $55, took it, and took, take it home, and then I redo it myself here. Halfway there, I couldn't do it. Something was jammed, was locked. I couldn't pull out the thingy inside. And then somehow I closed it. By accident, I got locked in. I couldn't get out. I had to go out through the window to open from the outside. I mean, one thing's wrong after the next. And the dreams mean that I was worried and stressed about many things. And the, the next things I know is that my monthly thing was flowing out of me in the open. It means that shame... Something gonna happen yesterday that will bring me shame. And that was that shame. That woman, that man, they were mocking me. They shamed me for no reason. You know what I mean? That's what the dream mean. And God already know. That's why he showed me that. He already know. That's why he opened my spiritual eyes to see it. But I couldn't believe it until I see it. You know what I mean? And so, God forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Right? So, and then I sit down after a hard long day yesterday. I said to God, Lord, you know, I could have blown my head off, you know. I could have lost my head and scream my head off because everything went wrong yesterday. It was so frustrated and yet I don't feel any frustration. I just get on with it and get on with the job and do it. Yes, I have tried and it didn't work. I have tried. I bought it. 
I replace it, I put it back everything in and then I just repeat the whole process again. I have tried and it didn't work. But at least I tried. And God already know and now I believed. God is still in control. I said to God, I don't want to share about this thing. It's just a little thing. Why would I want anyone to sit there and wasting their time watching my crap thing, you know? But you know what? God care about our little thing. He care about every details of our life. He love every details of our life. He love everything about us. The good, the bad, the sad, and the ugly. In this dream, God is showing me in the spirit that He is with me. He is with you. He is with you. He is with me. He is with us. That is why Emmanuel God is with us. And then he reminds me of, of his word where Jesus said, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. You know, it's true. In John 16, verse 33, he said to his disciple, he said to us, the believer now also, he said, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. But take heart. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. What this thing is he referring to? He referring to before Jesus went and died on the cross for our sin to save us from hell. He's talking about, he foretell about the betrayer, Judas Iscariot. That his best friend, his student betray him and hand him over to be killed. He foretold about that. He tells about the disciple, the believer, grief will turn into joy. He's talking about um, the wine and the branches. Jesus is the wine, we are the branches, and God is the gardener, and he will cut off everything, every branch in us that bears no fruit. He's talking about the work of the Holy Spirit. He's talking about the world will hate us, the disciple of Jesus. And then he said, John 16, 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. It's true, in this world we will have trouble. Like, my day was hell on earth yesterday. But thank God I still have that peace. I couldn't, I was surprised at myself. Because it's, one thing went wrong after the next. How could you have peace in such a thing? But I did. I wasn't expected. But God gave me that peace. And I tried. Right? In this world, we will have trouble. That's right. In this world, we will have trouble. Things will go wrong from time to time in our lives. But we still know that He is God. He is still in control. And He still loves us. The same yesterday, today, and forever. His love for us is never changed. So it's His caring and His kindness. And His, his mercy are new every morning. Hallelujah. In this world, you will have trouble. That's right. In this world, we will have trouble. Things will go wrong from time to time. But God is never wrong. We will be wrong sometime. Other people will wrong us sometime. But remember to forgive, just Christ forgave us. It's not easy to forgive, but we must practice the red letters. In this world, you will have trouble, that's right. But take heart, but believe Jesus has overcome the world. And we believe in him, we have overcome the world through him too. But we must learn to forgive. Of course, forgive and not forgotten, but we must learn to forgive. And to love again. Because we are in this together. Alright. Thank you for watching. I hope you are blessed. I'm sorry it's a bit long. Thank you for your time. And God bless your heart. I hope that you will see the finger of God in your life through this video. God bless. Love you. Bye.